You've mentioned that it's okay if your team makes mistakes, provided the effort is there. How would you assess the effort tonight? I think the effort, for the most part, was there. I thought we got a little demoralized uh, in the second half. You know, we battled in the first half, came back from uh, you know a big deficit early, and then uh, third quarter, you know, we, we started to get blown out, and I, th I could see some heads hanging. But uh, the guys at the end, you know, closed the game, playing hard and. And that's uh, that's what we're going to have to stay on them about. Just the you know the the young guys on a night like tonight, which is going to happen again. I mean, this is not you know not a one-off. It's this is the this is the reality. There's going to be nights like this this year. So we, you got to play through it, and you got to keep fighting and keep getting better. And that's that's the plan. Did Looney reaggravate his same hamstring injury? That's um, my understanding. Was it there was some tightness? Is that? Uh, yeah, and that that obviously hurt us. Loon did a great job in the first half, and and uh, you know defensively without him, um, we really struggled to say the least. Did you get any explanation from Draymond exactly what happened with the elbow thing that knocked? Uh, him out? Nerve, it was a nerve issue, um, but he's doing he's doing fine. Steve, just how would you characterize the defensive play uh, overall? Is this what you saw in the preseason? Was this worse? Was this something that really troubles you? Um, I'm thinking about John McKay's old line. Uh, what would you think of your defensive ex or your team's execution? I'm all for it. Um, sorry, that's <laughs> poor taste. Um, no, this was this was bad, but you know. Give the Clippers credit; they've got a hell of a team over there, and they they uh, they showed that Tuesday night, and they came in here and knocked down everything. Um, but when you uh, when you have as many young guys as we do, um, there's going to be a lot of uh, situational stuff that they haven't seen and they have they don't recognize, and so we're going to come in tomorrow watch a lot of film, and um, there's going to be some growing pains like tonight, um, but. Um, you know, we've we've got to we've got to fight through it, and we've got to uh, teach these young guys and help them grow, help them learn, and just try to get better as we go forward. As a guy who's won, you know, for the last five years, how do you handle it? Not great, or <laughs> it doesn't feel very good. Losing stinks. Uh, it's no fun, but. Uh, you know, you just uh, this is this is more the reality of the NBA um, than you know. The last five years, we've we've been living in a uh, in a world that uh, isn't supposed to exist. You know, um, five years um, that basically was record-wise, I believe, the best stretch if anybody's ever had over five years. So, this is reality. Nine nine guys, twenty-three or younger, and. Uh, you know we're starting over in many respects, so we've got to be patient and we got to fight and we got to uh, continue to teach as a staff and the players have to continue to absorb and learn and and uh, we'll get better. I know that. Coach, what did you think about uh, Jacob Evans's night? Was he kind of a silver lining to? Jacob played well. You know he knocked down some shots and and uh, you can see, the, you know the experience of of. Uh, of Jacob, you know, of having a year under his belt, he just looked a lot more comfortable out there than he did a year ago. Um, and I thought he, I thought he played well, um, did a good job. But um, obviously, in an, in a game like that, nothing really stands out. You know, it's uh, we, I got blown out, so it's it's tough to talk about individual performances. Steve, what happened on the uh, the last time out there? So did you didn't have any? I I uh, instinctively. Just take a timeout whenever we give up a over the top um, transition basket. If uh, if we let somebody behind us, it's, it's an automatic timeout. And uh, I actually thought we had one left. And so as soon as I called it, you know, the true Yoder was like, "Coach, we don't have any more left." Um, it didn't matter. It was uh, I wanted to get D'Lo out of the game too. Uh, the game was over. Um, and uh, but yeah, it was. I'd be lying if I said I knew. I knew that uh, you know. We didn't have any left. I thought we had one left, but it's the way it goes. Steve, to, to fall so far behind right out of the gates, I, I know that's the first quarter, but to, to plug away at that, is that is that hard too? And I mean, when the, uh, they come out like that? 
I mean, yeah, it, it's but but we did. You know, our guys battled back. It was I think it was fourteen nothing, and then uh, and then our guys battled back. We got right back in the game. So it's a good sign. Steve, what what have you talked to? Uh, who, who have you leaned on in terms of coaching a young team like this? It, it's it's obviously very different than the experience you've had previously in the last five years here. You got advice from Pop or uh, well, any Mike other Brown, mentor? Mike Brown has has been here before. You know, um, he coached uh, some really young Cleveland teams, and and uh, so he's given me some advice. Ron Adams as well. They, those guys have seen everything in the NBA, and uh, so it's it's helpful to have a great staff. And uh, the rest of us who you know who have just been here the last five years, we're you know we're we're learning. So we've uh, we got to we got to take our lumps and. Uh, Keep pushing forward. It's not. It's not easy, but it's one game, and we got to move on. Steve, you were talking maybe over the summer about maybe doing some different things offensively than you've done in the past. Um, hadn't seen much of that in the preseason. Did you? Were you doing different stuff? Have you put in different stuff, uh, or are you kind of still assessing whether you, how much you want to do different? We've, we've put in a few things that are that are um, slightly different, but we're not revamping our system or anything you know we're um we're, we're still running a lot of the same stuff that we've run we have to assess our team and we also have to uh, to respect what we've done here and respect that you know, steph draymond uh loon uh clay when he's back i mean those guys have been really successful doing what we've done so we'll evaluate as we go um I think we we will will continue to to assess everything as uh, as each game goes, and we'll see what we're doing well, what we're doing poorly, and we'll try to improve from there. A tough assignment for Glenn to be on Kawhi for much of the night in his first real game with the team. How do you think he did in that role? I thought Glenn, you know, competed and and, uh, and did a good job. You know, Kawhi's a handful, obviously, and uh, but Glenn Glenn gave us some good minutes. Steve, how would you assess uh, Steph's night? Looked like they were bringing defenders his way, but he turned the ball over, didn't make shots. Is this going to be his life, just having two guys to him all the time? Well, he's going to definitely get more attention, um, you know. And and you, you think about who he's lost, you know, alongside of him, you know, Clay, Kevin, Andre, Sean, among others. Um, it's an awful lot, uh, awful lot of firepower with your your teammates to lose uh so he he understands what he's going to face there's going to be more attention to him more double teams more trapping that kind of stuff um but he'll he'll be the first to tell you i don't know if he's talking to you guys or not but the eight turnovers a lot of them were very careless and and uh, that's what he's got to clean up to start with if we if we take care of if he takes care of the turnovers then the game will get easier for him